So, back in my room I actually managed to watch quite some of the Belgium game. Um, of course I didn't see the beginning of the second half. And that's when two goals were scored. I just came on time to see the third goal. What I saw in the first half is was a Belgian team that really tried to break down the Panama team. The defense uh, got some nice chances but had also some trouble because of course Panama is uh, playing defensively sound and tries to limit the damage. Uh, in that sense, it was a typical game that we would expect in the first stage of the World Cup where a team that is a favorite has some troubles uh, scoring, uh, getting to chances. Um, and so far at the World Cup, it would have turned out that, yeah, uh, the team actually manages only a draw, barely wins. Uh, thinking Argentina, thinking um, Brazil. Belgium actually made the goal. Was when I saw it after the game was a very beautiful goal. Uh, the way it was um, that Mertens took the shot. Uh, really like that one. Then the game opened up, but Panama had an equalizer chance. Again, I didn't see that, but I saw it in the replay, which yeah showed maybe some weakness in the defense for Belgium. Other teams might make something out of that, but so far I haven't seen that many teams that are defensively sound the ones I saw I don't think will go that far and I'm thinking about Scandinavian teams I think Sweden and mostly Iceland who really played very well um, then when the game opened up Lukaku made two more goals uh, the second one again a really really nice assist I think it was by De Bruyne uh, but you can see the fluid attack movement if Belgium has space they can be lethal. And in a way it reminded me a bit about the Hungary Belgium round two matchup at the Euro 16, where once Belgium gets rolling, they are deadly. The problem is if they once they're not when they have troubles getting to roll, then I think it's a little bit harder for Belgium to do something, and that's where probably teams might uh, exploit the weaknesses of the Belgium team. Uh, as for Panama, it's great that they're here for the first time qualified. I think they should have, no, I know, they should have made qualification for a year, years ago if it wasn't for a greedy US team. And yeah, I've lived in the States, so I'm sad that the US is not taking part in this World Cup. But on the other side, I'm really happy to see Panama finally getting their deserved spot. And yeah, it was at the expense of the US uh, freak results. And in that sense, they deserve to be there. I mean, the Hex is not an easy tournament to qualify out of. Uh, I think only Mexico managed easily. The rest had to wait until the end. So, uh, but they were clearly out of sorts. It reminded me also a little bit about Honduras in 2014. It was also a team that in the first game seemed a little bit out of sorts against France. Very similar game. Now the one against um, Belgium. Uh, Panama against Belgium was a very similar game, I thought. Going forward, I think Belgium boosted their goal differential quite some, so uh, that puts England under pressure. We'll see how it goes from there. For me, Belgium is a little bit of a weird team. Uh, when I started watching the World Cup, they were always there, but never that great. I remember maybe 94, they beat my beloved Dutch team. Um, and then when I wanted them to beat Germany, they didn't, of, to, of course, do it. And from that moment on, I was never really convinced about Belgium. I was in their camp to qualify in 98 out of the group. Mexico messed that one a little bit. And then they even didn't manage to, uh, to win against South Korea. 2002, I remember they had a great game against Brazil where they scored a goal that was rightly disallowed. Gave their all and yeah, eventually fell short. Um, yeah, that's what happens when you play against the Brazil squad. And then they didn't qualify and actually went quite under. So for me lately, I know Belgium is a very talented generation. I have not yet seen them play as great as everyone tells them. I just see the talent. Uh, they have not made much. At least they have a coach this time around. So that will be interesting. But yeah, uh, being a fan of the Dutch, uh, rooting for Belgium seems a little odd and to me uh, Belgium is still kind of yeah they have football tradition soccer tradition however you want to call it 
but they're not one of those stellar teams that everyone is talk, talking about. They are just there. They made one semi-final. Um, they made it to a Euro final. So uh, they, quite, they have some pedigree. But I think I would put them on the level with Sweden, roughly, in uh, where they stand. And they're, for me personally, they're missing the connection that I have with Sweden. Uh, a lot of things that I like about Sweden, that uh, Belgium for me is, uh, I don't know, some, 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 somewhere in the middle. Jersey matchup. The Belgium shirt is really nice. I think they could have done it a little bit better, but what I liked is that um, when you read my blog post on the Belgium shirt, um, that I found the space to the left empty because the crest is centered. But they put the match information here, which makes a nice balance to the Adidas logo here. I still think it would have been better if you put the number in the, uh, number on the left in one of the red squares. Uh, not the rhomboids. I started stats and maths, so I should know. Uh, and the Adidas logo in the other one uh, give it a little bit more of a balanced uh, look. I don't like the number below. But I think the design is actually cool. And um, that is a shirt that even looks good without number. That's always a good sign. Uh, Panama, um, I like that they had at least some blue and the red number. So the, all the colors that I associate with Panama were there. Um, and therefore, it made for a nice matchup uh, when I watched it on TV. The Panama shirt is something a little bit unusual, something that you gotta get used to. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but you know, they tried at least something unlike Costa Rica where it just looks bland and boring. And those things here, <sighs> yeah, the Costa Rica uh, Serbia match, tomorrow we'll see Sanchez and Cole. It's just that they take this front part and they let it go all the way up, like the new Nike shirts. I don't know what's wrong with doing a shirt like they did before. I think it looks also it looks much nicer and much more normal. But then again, you gotta come up with something new every time you design a new shirt. Well, let me know what you thought about Belgium, uh, about Panama, about the game in general. How do you like Belgium's chances? I think they could go far. I actually, if you see my prediction, I predicted that they will beat out Germany, now that everyone is beating in Germany at the moment, ha 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 ha. Uh, let me know what you think about Panama and yeah, Jersey matchup, whatever I talked about, tell me where I'm wrong. I'm not always right. It's just my personal opinion and you might have different ones. Well, talk to you soon.